I, I feel like a fucking kid when I first got this when we were, we were the Barnes and Noble. So yeah. yeah, I feel like a, a kid a waking kid up for Christmas, uh, Christmas time. Yeah, yeah. Like I got this. <laughs> That's how I was once in my first Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, first, I had an old Bible when I first got the suit. This badass young girl was fucking with when I first came to suit game. This one, right? Her mom was, you know, the old school Bible. Go to, they go to that big ass church out east on the road. They go to Joe Osteen. Oh, he uh, What's his name? Uh, What's his name? Is that his name? Uh, uh, Parsons. Park Parsons, yes. What's his name? Ron Parsons. Ron Parsons, that's what I mean. Okay. He's one that got that giant mega church. He got a he got he has a mega church because he got an actual college university on his shit. I see some now, how can you, shit. How the fuck yeah. can you what kind of man, what kind of oh, money he got, you can start your own university. You know what I'm saying? They got some reality yeah. show out here now called uh, Preachers of LA. Y'all know America's about to be destroyed. Most High gonna destroy America. Y'all know that. Y'all gonna be destroyed with America. America's been cut. You know this place is slowly dying. Slowly. And none of you people seem seem to know. Hell, actually, it ain't meant for you to know. It's meant for all y'all people to be asleep to the end. When destruction hits you, it's going to be sudden. The Lord's going to hit you sudden. Uh, what's that? Uh, 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 Peter, 2 Peter. I got it. Three and I got the Lord's going to hit you sudden. And that's when shit hits you the most. That's when it hurts the most. When it suddenly hits you. You need prepared for it. Mentally, with using the scriptures, getting your mind ready for it. It's gonna hit y'all sudden. Okay. I just wanna start it. I could read the whole chapter, actually. Yeah, that's a bad ass chapter. Wanna read the whole chapter? Hey, hey. It's open. That chapter is fine. Hey, you don't wanna skip none of them. We can take shifts with it. Hey, it's not that long. <laughs> No, yeah, so, yeah. So, everybody, so everybody get a read. Right, right, right. First John 3 and 1. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. That's right. Only the prophets of the Lord will remember this. Yeah, remember it too. That's talking about. Don't be back there. Don't practice it. Don't want shit. This ain't going to touch you. So, but how are you going to bring somebody to remembrance? That means you knew it before. That's right. Remembrance. That, that's, that's talking about reincarnation. That's right. That's what that's talking about. So that means the, when we were, uh, when the Lord was walking the earth, if you was doing this work then, you're going to be doing it now. Yep. Because when you was born, if you're part of the elect, the truth was already in your spirit. You already know the truth. That's why we got to bring it to your remembrance and draw that truth out of you. I got to clean your description. I'll go ahead. Um, this is Daniel. 12 and 13. But go thou go, but go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the at the days, at the end of the days. Well, well we in the end of days right now. We say stand in your by your lot. Yep. Yeah. It says rest, and rest means past lives when we drop dead and coming back and keep coming back. You know, reincarnation. Yeah, because like we we used to hang out with the same people back, uh, you know, a thousand years ago. Like brothers, we hang out with now. We was probably kicking it a thousand years ago with each other. That's right. So we just gotta uh, reconnect with each other and bring each other to remember. Yeah, that's what we're doing now. And that's same what that's thing. that's what that scripture talking about. You want about. another one? Oh, you got more? Yeah, I got another one. Right. I get a lot of days out there. You get a lot of days out there. A lot of that happens all the time. Glitch in the matrix. It was, it was funny when I started uh, reading the scriptures and studying a lot of stuff, I, don't, I ain't know nothing, but it felt like I knew it. Yeah, it's all remember it's that remember. Yeah, it's like it felt like I knew it. Yep, yep. Revelation 10 and 11, and he said unto me, thou must prophesy again before many people. Oh yeah, this is talking about John. Who John, he wrote this while he was on the Isle of Patmos. He was 90 years old, or 100 years old. And he, he, he dropped dead after he wrote Revelation. So it said he had to prophesy again. Again. So that means, again means in your next life. That's right. Before many peoples 
and nations and tongues and kings. That's clear. So he, That's clear. And there's no record of John being 100 years old going around prophesying to uh, kings <laughs> when he's 100. It's talking right, about right. his next life. So let me get this back to this. Uh, actually, who was I at, man? Uh, Peter, 2 Peter, 3rd Peter, 2nd Peter, 3 and 2nd Peter, 3 Oh, no, it was throwing me off. I was looking at this. It said, John up top, my page okay. right here is folded back. And it back. It's like, what's going on? 2nd Peter, 3 and 2. That ye be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets. <laughs> it's like, yeah, so we're supposed to bring y'all a remembrance of what the prophets spoke, you know, 2,000 years ago. That you may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. So we the apostles of Yahweh Shah. Knowing this first that there shall come in the last day scoffers, walking after their own lust. That's, that's, all, these own that's all these filthy people. Yeah. These people, yeah, they're a bunch of filthy animals. They come to this university. They come to this university just so they can become this, so they can become themselves. Yeah, like he with said, with demons. This is the do as thou wilt world. That's right. Everybody just does what the fuck they want. America, anything goes. That's they, one of Michael Jordan's favorite goes. sayings. That's one of Michael Jordan's right will. now one of his favorite sayings. Do as thou wilt. Yeah, Michael Jordan. Yeah, it's, yeah, he played for the Bulls too, so he got devil horns. Yeah. Plus the number two, three. That's a wicked nigga. That's one hell of a wicked ass nigga. And yeah, they got six rings. You know the number twenty three. Yeah. <laughs> the number twenty three carry a, a a demonic vibration because two times three is six. And and everybody uses that number. They love that number twenty three. It, it like yeah, because even he the, the George the Bulls color was red too. You know what I'm saying? Red like Esau. Red like the devil. There, so if you break that down, everything about the Bulls and Michael Jordan is evil. Not to mention that the professional sports is all fake. Oh, he still got skills. You still gotta have skills to jump like that. But they use them. We're getting Second Peter three and four. They and, saw that simple nigga coming down. Yep. The simple nigga. But he he has no problem with signing the soul to the devil. Uh, Selling a soul to the devil. Yeah, yeah, no Just like LeBron James, before every game when LeBron James go out, he throws up the 666 hand sign. I'm not even going to do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He does a little ritual. Yep. Shaquille O'Neal, too. Shaquille O'Neal, he always throws up some kind of crazy hand signs before he played a game. They all, Jordan told him all that. Jordan told him all that. They all do all that shit. Plus, they had a, there's a video. I'm going to look for that yeah, video, too. And Shaquille O'Neal was on Sports Center bragging about being a Freemason. I've Some, seen that video. Somebody yeah. seen his ring. He's like, that a Freemason ring? You a Freemason? He's like, yeah, I'm a Freemason. He said it proudly. What is that? What is that? That's a ring of my profession. You don't know nothing about that. Okay, well, can we get a close-up on that? There it is. What, don't know nothing about what is the profession? Yeah, which profession are we talking about? Just look at it. Is it a legal profession? Of course it's legal. It's a ring of my profession. I'm trying to read it. Okay. Uh, it's too many thousands. Ah, yeah, that's too bright. Oh, that's too bright. Go well, ahead, anyway. Oh, Mason, are you a Mason? Of course I am. Okay. You, 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 that's a secret <laughs> ceremony. Well, you might as well put your pinky out when you drink your drink. Of course I am. Uh, put your pinky out. Are you involved in the secret <laughs> ceremonies? Just stop the it. And the Everyone wears it. Anyway, the Clippers. The Clippers. <laughs> ring, but that is impressive, Mr. O'Neill. I don't have a chance. Anyway, so, anyway, so the Clippers. Oh, yeah, of course. Those he doesn't wear. Those he doesn't wear. The Clippers. Yeah. As I was blinded by success. So uh, he's an open, he openly worships the devil. What's up, you know all Freemasons are devil worshippers? You know, yeah, they don't know what the fuck's going on. They, yeah, they, 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 they fled Saudi Arabia so they could come to America and be a faggot. So a lot of them Arabs, they like to flee their country because over there in the Middle East, you can't be a faggot. But in America, you can be a faggot. You, you can, uh, Commit adultery. You can do all kind of weird shit. It's perfectly okay. Anything goes. Anything goes over here. Except don't teach the Bible though. Don't teach the Bible. You know what I'm saying? And don't be talking about you want to see your kids. There's no 
crazy shit like that. Mm. Cause you can't, you can't, if so, you tell people an adulterous woman will get put to death, they look at you like you're crazy. They're like, you're extreme. Like, how is that extreme? I mean, you commit adultery and get another man's sperm all up oh, in your disgusting. body, that, that's extreme. Yeah, that's disgusting, man. Uh, let me get back to this. Second Peter uh, 2, 3, and 4. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? So that's what these fools, every time we tell them the Lord's going to destroy them and kill them, they're like, ah, oh, that ain't never going to happen. They're like, how about God strike me down now? That's what they say. Y'all going to get struck down the word. It's going to happen in due time. When? That's what they word. When? The Lord fucking all you people up. Like, I've, right we've, been, now, yeah. we've been driving, a, every time I've been driving lately the past year, you see broken down cars like every two feet. You see new cars broken down too. Yeah, these people are hurting out here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They getting fucked up. Ain't nobody got no money. Everybody's jacked up, having all kind of problems. Now that Obamacare, they trying to pass the Obamacare. That's fucking shit up. That is good. It's good that y'all get messed I'm up. I'm clapping my hands. Yeah. Next How are you? What's up, man? Nation, you know Barack Obama is the greatest president of all time. Is that right? He, he's, he's magnificent because he's going to implement Obamacare. He, he's going to start and play. Got to do something. Oh, uh, you think Obamacare is a good thing? I think what we got presently is terrible. Absolutely, back. It is terrible. Stuff. Obamacare is even worse. I would argue with that. Obamacare was 1994 counter Republican counter proposal. You know it's a tax? Well, Obamacare is just another tax out your check. The Supreme Court ruled and they said Obamacare is constitutional because it's a tax. And that's why it's constitutional. And they ruled it as a tax. So it's not even health care. They're selling you, they're forcing you to buy health insurance from private companies. It's not even government. And the insurance company wrote the bill. Sure, Lord, yeah. Lord, Absolutely. Lord, 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 Lord. So, because this is a capitalist society, it's all the corporations are running. Stuff cats, like make a lot more money. Yeah. 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 It's making those, right? But it's making all a certain class of people fail. Absolutely. Yep. I'm not saying anything I would disagree with. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Well, this nation will never be shit in the first place. Yeah. 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 That whole American dream. Yeah, that's a big well, for joke. Some people was an American dream. Right. Well, for a lot of people, you talk. You want to talk about black. People. It's always that way. I'm, I'm an older black guy. You know, I've, I've, I've witnessed it. I've, I've become victim, especially as far as the, the judicial system downtown. I've been arrested and locked up for felonies that I've never even committed. You know, people accuse me, yeah, you know, just, to, just as long as they arrest a nigga. That's how they look at it. As long as they arrest a nigga, it's fine, you know. Taking money out of my pocket, out of my family's pocket, but I think people can see it. That's what this nation's all about, oppression. You know? That's, that's why they got uh, the Planned Parenthood buildings in all the black neighborhoods. Right. Your little abortion hey. system. So, you know, you know, black women have more abortions than in. And I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to show you how stupid everybody is. Like, all black people are Democrats, right? <laughs> that's no, funny, though. Yeah, that's that's funny. Funny. They used to be all Republicans. Well, back used in the right, used to be all Republicans. Yeah. But you know the Democratic Party is the party of the KKK. Yes, it is. You can't make this shit up. <laughs> it, no, you no, can't no. make it up. The Confederates right? were Democrats. Mm -hmm. You know? I study over here, and that's all exactly yeah. the kind of stuff I study. And they, they ain't nothing to set up with this group. It's all set up. We're still, you know, we live in a... Yeah. America's jumping, man. Oh yeah. You know, they bought a. They but yeah. They bought. Might say we're off the again. Well, the government shut down we're right now. Taking the land. Right, 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 get that number. What are you selling? That's a good structure. What are you selling? You got another one. Right yeah, because uh. I got some of my people would be gas. Right? Oh yeah? Oh uh, that's what we just about to talk about too. Yeah, because you know uh you know they found artifacts right here in Ohio. Native American artifacts were written in Hebrew. Is that right? Many of them. 
Ancient Hebrew. An and with that ancient, you know the ancient Hebrew script? Yes. Yes. So they, they found many artifacts written in the ancient Paleo script. Right here in Ohio. Uh, downtown. So Gad and Benjamin. I guess I'd be in there. In 1860, David Wyrick, he's a guy who surveyed the Newark earthworks. He was digging into a mound near those earthworks and he found a wooden coffin made of oak. They opened up the coffin and found a skeleton of a man holding a little box. It was about 8.10 inches in size. The box had been cemented shut here. This, by the way, is sitting in Ohio. Well, he opened up the box and he found a little man inside, a little black stone. They took it to scholars, and they looked at it. The man seems to be carrying something, and there's writing here. At first, they couldn't recognize. The writing is, they thought in 1860, some sort of Hebrew. Well, finally, about 20 years later, they found some rabbis living in the area, and the rabbis looked at that, and they could read it. They said it was an old, old kind of block Hebrew, uh, block Hebrew and it was a rendition of the Ten Commandments. Now, this is another piece. Block Hebrew, they said they'd never seen anything like it. Mainstream archaeologists at the time called this a hoax. But then in 1900, or just about after 1900, in Israel, they found the same block-style Hebrew writing. Mainstream archaeologists still dismissed the findings. They found it in Israel, and they found it in Ohio. But there was another stone that they found that they couldn't argue. This is the Bat Creek Stone. It was found during the course of an official Smithsonian evacuation. The Smithsonian didn't understand the, uh, uh, the meaning of the writing on the stone. They thought it was Cherokee, since it came from Cherokee country. They didn't realize that it's actually Hebrew. They had published this originally upside down. They threw it in a box at the bottom of the Smithsonian, put it in the basement. Many years later, a scholar took it out of the box, looked at it, and went, oh my gosh, it's upside down. It's Phoenician, ancient Hebrew. So what's going on here? What is that about? Where is that history? I'll show you in a few minutes, and we're going to have a conversation, and I'm going to show you some more things that the Smithsonian... Science, government, commerce colluded to erase. By the way, I want to thank the directors of the documentary Lost Civilizations of North America for bringing these stories to my attention. I was blown away. To find more, visit the website lostcivilizationdvd.com. Here's the thing we should be asking ourselves. I don't know the story of these. Do you know that? Did you know that? Do you live in Ohio and did you know that? Why not? Were the American Indians wronged? Yes. Yes. And that's what we focus on in America, is we were bad to the American Indians. Forget about it. It's in the past. The question should be the ones that the founders asked. Who are they? What knowledge do they have? Can you imagine the difference we would have now if we would put our differences aside and put our past in the past and concentrate on today and say, let's learn from each other. What do you have? What is that? What is that? <laughs> Where's your dad from? Well, I mean, a lot of it's unknown. Wait, like, you know where your dad was from? Not really, but I know that his uh, his mother is Cherokee. Oh yeah? Yeah, from North Carolina. And uh, my mother's mother's mother was from the Caribbean. We don't know anything about that. You know what she really passes white when she got here? When you read a Bible, what really matters? So called. Well, you know what I'm saying. Well, like, really, really matters who your father was. That's exactly the point, right? She probably came here from the Caribbean and knows how it works, knows that it benefits her to pass it in so called white. And, and that's how she lived her life. But we were able to do genealogy to trace her back to the Caribbean, and that's all we have to do like everything else. Well, what really matters is uh, who your father was. Because oh, yeah. you are who your father was, according to the Bible. Oh, God, I hope not. <laughs> well, that's what it is. The seed. Yeah, the seed. The seed. That's what really matters. The seed. Okay. Actually, seed is the same word as sperm. Yep, sperm. The Greek word that's for true. seed is sperm. That's right. So when you do yeah. your genealogy, oh, you speak to your father. 
so-called, they were aristocrats when they came over here. So a, a very small percentage of the population were rich. Most people came over here on some kind of slave ship or an indentured servitude, or uh, people were escaping religious persecution, you know? So yeah, America was pretty much founded on oppression right from the beginning. Let me get right to the Habuku, one, I'm uh, sorry, two and 12. Woe to him that buildeth the town with blood and establish a city by iniquity. Yeah, that's, that's, that's describing right. America to a T. That's right. Why do you think the government's a terrorist? They are terrorists. I mean, it's, it's, it's common knowledge. It's, 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 it's a year 2013. I'll give, you, I'll give you one example. 9-11 was the inside job. That was the government that did that. They're, they're terrorists. If you don't know that, it's too... You think a couple you, people with some box cutters did that? <laughs> yeah, who did that? Living in some caves. Yeah, who, who killed Kennedy? Who do you think did that? I don't understand why you think the government It's all called a false flag. Google false flag. That's all you got to do. Did they kill like uh, two million Iraqi people? Just go home and Google false flag. That's all you have to do, literally. Check it out. Over in Syria... In Afghanistan, don't you know there's over, there's like uh, 25 million children been displaced because of U.S. military? Where did you get that information? It's right, they don't hey, hide. This is common don't knowledge, man. They don't do, hide do you do your research themselves. on it? Do you know that Barack Obama, hold up, bro. Do you know Barack Obama <laughs> openly supports Al-Qaeda? They, they, they support Al-Qaeda rebels. Here. And they train them, and they're giving weapons to Al-Qaeda openly. It, you can watch here. it on C-SPAN, bro. They say, look, we're giving weapons to Al-Qaeda. They Everybody don't hide it. It's, it's not a secret, bro. They put it on the AP every day. You can read it on the headlines if you read the headlines. Man, just go play some PlayStation, bro. Just go play PlayStation, go smoke some weed, and... This is hey, no, no. your research, man. Let's look it up. Common knowledge. The U.S. military have thousands of military bases around the world. I know. Don't they? There you go. You should know better than you in the military. So what are they still doing in Vietnam? What you? What you? What? What are you? The army or something? You a Marine Corps? He's a Marine. What's your What's your job? What kind of job? He's like a parachuter. Are you a truck driver or something? No. Computer engineer. Oh three, oh three thirty one. If they give you an order to go over there to go slaughter some kids, well, infantry you what? Better do it, or that's your head. No. But so you know, you know it's okay to. Right, let, right. me, oh, let me ask you a question, bro. No, 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 no. They, they, go, they slaughter them kids over there. The military soldiers, come on. It's what? on tape. It's on tape now. Man, they. Defend man, yourself, man. Uh, John McCain was John McCain was hanging out with that dude that ate someone's heart. Took a picture with him. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got military soldiers Smiling over there, cheesy too. raping women, slaughtering kids over there. He know that. These people, they, this, they, it's meant for these people to be asleep though. Yeah, it's meant he, for them. He's working for the damn devil. Go ahead. Is that Cesare Borgia? Yeah. That's exactly. That's him. Yeah. That's what I thought. That's him. Yeah. You know, yeah. then you know okay. he, he was a tiger. Oh, that's you know he was a tiger. Yeah. So you Actually, sleep. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's who stuff. Machiavelli wrote the Prince. There you go. Yeah. That's right. And that's how. That's pretty much how the world runs. Is oh yeah. The Prince. You're naive if you think it's. Oh, yeah. have you seen that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you seen that movie, uh, Harrison Bergeron? You the first person we've been out here for. Yeah. Nobody yeah. never knew who that the image was. Yeah, because yeah. I've been out here. Weren't educated. Right. And the first person that we talked <laughs> to, yeah, thousands like, of people. You know, like, yeah. you know, look. And I think the sign of education is being able to come in contact with people and have a reason. See, 
Oh, yeah. And not just be defensive. It's, it's fun to curse people out sometimes, though, because they, they like to mess with us, you know? People well, I mean, you, you say something that's counter yeah. to what they think is the case. Yeah, everybody's been taught a lie their whole life. Well, yeah. rather than have a conversation, they, they want to curse and curse. Right. Yeah, like, oh, how dare you say that? <laughs> I'm interested. Like, yeah. I'm interested in these people, man. Like, what do people think? And the, it's it's interesting. Of course it's interesting. Right. Oh, the right. building right. says it right there. He that seeketh the truth. No, the truth like, shall make you free. Yeah. It's got John, the eighth chapter. Yeah. Yeah. That man used to give little yeah. boys yeah. to yeah. talk. Yeah. 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 Oh, abortion was... I mean, little boys. That was some dirty basketball. Yeah, he, he, he was foul. Yeah, he was screwing his system. Yeah, he did. Who was that Roman that was fucking his sister? Who was that Roman that was fucking his sister? Martin Luther. Yeah, that's what he said. I mean, he was not a great person. He was a mess himself. But, but I mean, that was one of the reasons that he launched the Reformation, or at least one of the reasons he gave. That's right. So, yeah, Cesare Borgia, man. Martin Luther, he was... understand Western history without knowing that person. Yeah, he was crazy. Yeah, because it really, his father was... His father, oh, yeah, one. Rodrigo. He, and yeah. yeah, Rodrigo's he was, the one. He who, he's the one to legalize slavery because uh, the papal bulls. Right. Yep. Yep. Saying it was okay. Because you know, you know, like Constantine under Constantine, you know, for a thousand years it was illegal to uh, for any Christian to be a slave. Oh, right. And then, well, that, ironically, that's how they legalized it because they're yeah. Christian. Right. Then there's something else. Yeah. But you know, a lot of the slaves. And they brought to America were already Christian before they came over here. And so, yeah, that's absolutely the case. Yep. But, you know, the, well, the history of racism. It just shows you, you know, the hypocrisy. Well, of course. I mean, there's, as uh, one of my favorite philosophers, he says, there's no such thing as an instant nation. Oh, hell no. <laughs> you don't get to be a nation by being. That, I mean, that's the kingdom you of heaven. You get to be a nation by killing enough people. To get your way. The only innocent yeah, nation would be the kingdom of heaven. We we were obviously. Well, that's what Jesus said, right? Yeah. We my, ain't, my, we ain't my kingdom yet. is not of this earth. It's not of this if, earth. If, if my kingdom were this earth, my servants would fight. Would fight. But my, right. Name, but my sir, they ain't fighting. Yeah, yeah, right. like, yeah, and he yeah. yeah he told that to this. Uh, well, you told. know what? I don't know if this means anything to you. I'm a direct descendant of the founders of the Mennonites. Oh, the Men Well, the Mennonites. Uh, the Mennonites, pacifists, they come from the uh, pluralist in their interpretation and communitarian. They come from the Anabaptist movement, absolutely, uh, right? And yeah. as we used to say, the uh, the Protestants were killing the Catholics, and the Catholics were killing the Protestants. And everybody was killing the Anabaptists. So, so yeah, so everybody's so all the a lot of the, a lot of those Anabaptists can I don't know about the Amish. I don't know about them. Well, they're related. But well, well, the Amish funny. were some weirdos. So, because a lot of those Mennonites, the Israelites, that escaped out of, you know, Europe, out of Germany. Uh, some of them cut up in the Switzerland. Yeah. Well, I'm a direct descendant of Johannes Linus, who was one of the co-founders. He was beheaded and his family dispossessed. And they eventually ended up here in, in, in uh, Pennsylvania. All for his beliefs, Fle right? Fleeing. Yeah, fleeing, because they were persecuted everywhere they went. And then so they the only ended up signing a deal for with William Penn, who signed a deal with the Native Americans of the region to co settle Yeah, but I don't know about it. See, I, yeah, I'm not with that many. I know the history behind it. But. Yeah, so well, I, like I said, I don't mean to oh, like, yeah. intrude or something. Oh, I just yeah, it was interesting to mention. Because, yeah. I mean, well, you know, I don't trust too many authorities anyway. Yeah, because you can't listen to none of these. All these churches are under a 501c3 charter. They're mm -hmm. all government ran churches. So even the Mennonite church of today is probably nothing like it was a hundred years ago. Oh, they no, probably no, totally no. sold out. You know, just well, there's oh, different divisions. Yeah, all these churches are all sold out. They all, all the preachers are agents. <laughs> they report on you. And you have a scripture? Yeah, yeah. I got uh, Exodus uh, 21 and 16. And he that stilleth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in the hand, if it's in his hand, shall surely be put to death. Babylon. Hey, uh, that's like, what's a new movie coming out? About 12 years of slave or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. dude, they, uh, he was a free, he was free. He 
was a free slave. Ooh, they almost wrecked. He was a free still a slave, though. Yeah. Well, actually, we actually, we all are still uh, We're all slaves. We're slaves. Wow. Slavery was never so what they call abolished, what they call, um... Instead of whip. <laughs> well, it, well, the black people after, yeah, after the Civil War, black people were emancipated. Yeah, they were well. emancipated. Now, how, how come they weren't free? Right. Because Congress repealed the 1977 laws, and those laws weren't revisited until 1965. And, 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 ask that. Do you, do you know what emancipate means? <laughs> I wonder if any <laughs> black no, person knows what it means. Me. This is so fun. This is so fun. You go, it's a Latin word. Yeah. This is fun. That's an old word they used to use back in the Latin courts. Look at this picture. Right? Yeah, bro, the, the courts are still Latin courts. Still Roman. Uh, Revelation Revelations 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Oh, that's clear. That's kind of he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Now, have you ever heard of the, the uh, you know who the Hebrew Israelites are, right? Mm -hmm. All right, the word are Israelites. But have you ever heard of the Hebrew Edomites? Mm -hmm. So you, you know who the Edomites are today? No. It's uh, the Edomites are the people who control the world. All right, this is the, the, the elite, the so-called white people who control the world. Like, uh, they, a lot of them claim to be, uh, like the so-called Jews living over there in the state of Israel. Okay, those are not real Israelites, okay? Those are Edomites. And the Bible tells you that in the synagogue of Satan, you ever read the book of Revelation? Oh, uh, what do you got? The definition of Oh, yeah, because that Revelation 13 said, He that leave in captivity, that's talking about Esau. Because Esau is going to go into slavery. He's about to get uh, the, the, twice the punishment for what he did. Uh, we did. Revelation 2 and 9. Yeah. Revelation 2 and 9. I know thou works and tribulation and poverty. But thou art rich. So we're poor. So the real Israelites were poor, but we're rich. We have this truth. You know? And I know the blasphemy of them would say they are Jews and are not. That, that's just like them so-called Jews living over there in the state of Israel. They're not the real Jews. That's why they call themselves Jewish. Jewish and the Israelis, not Israelites. And that's why they say and, pertaining to. Yeah, they don't even use that like ancient that. Hebrew alphabet either. They don't do. They, they don't even use the Bible. They use the Talmud. And they got a homosexual city of Jewish. Yeah. Then they they put. They got a homo, that's supposed to be God's people, right? Yeah. I mean, they uh, pray to the wall. They stick prayers on it. Then they go back and under the Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> demons. Peckingbird. Right? Yeah. Some reading. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Read that. I know the blasphemy of them would say they are Jews and are not. But are the synagogue of Satan. So the Bible says they're the synagogue of Satan. And they're devil worshippers. No, you know them so you know there's the, the so-called Jews are the main ones behind the slave trade. And actually when you really look into it, the Borgerians, they were so-called Jews. Christopher Columbus was a so-called Jew. When you really the yeah, Amalekites, right, from the tribe of, from the nation of Esau and the tribe of Amalek. That's the number one enemy of Israel. And that's funny though. Because the Rothschilds, the lead banking families of the earth, the Rob, Rothschilds, Rothschilds, Rothschilds means they red. They know who they are. Uh, yeah, they Roth they means red. red. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Esau means red. Well, not Esau don't mean red. Uh, Edom means red. Because Esau came out red. You ever read that scripture? Yeah. Right. That goes back to Esau. So the Rothschilds right. know they're Edomites. A lot of them brag about it. Like we've had rabbis come out here, not a rabbi, uh, but a younger cat. He's hey, called them. Higher up, the one that had yeah, the yeah. black and red. Yeah, he was a, a fire priest. But they, 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 like we have one dude, he actually said, "Yeah, they actually teach us that we're Edomites in the synagogue." What's up? Where were you from? The Caucasus Mountains? <laughs> Cleveland. Huh? Cleveland. Were you a so-called Jew? Yeah. I could just tell by looking at you. You know your name is really Esau. You're really an Edomite. That's what they tell me. Oh, it is what they tell you. Who yeah. told you that? Your rabbi? Someone in the, yeah, someone in the temple at some point. Oh, they did tell you that? Yeah. That's fucking awesome. So, but you know, we're Jacob. We're Jacob. Right on. We're, we're the real, we're the real Jews. You know that? 
so-called yeah. Negro. We can all be the real Jews. Huh? No, 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 no. We're no, not all real. Yeah, because we don't run. We don't Negro. run around without shoes on. Mm. Well, I got a roll, but on, good luck with your. This is the Israelites. My friends yeah. waiting on me right he, now. You gotta go back to Kiev. Oh well, yeah. You going into slavery since you eat some? You a Jew too? Yeah, you, know. yeah, you don't look like one. He does. Yeah, I can look. One look at that devil, I can tell he's a devil. Hey, he actually said that. Uh, you got that? Yeah, the emancipate. Yep. Oh, uh, to free from restraint, control. This is the definition of emancipate. For the power of another, especially to free from bondage, to release from paternal care and responsibilities, and make sore jewels. Hey, read that again in the car. This ain't, I can't hear it. The airplane is loud as hell. Okay, to free from restraint, control, for the power of another, especially to free from bondage. To free from a power from another. Keep going. To free from, from any controlling influence as traditionally Moors or beliefs. Okay, origin. Latin. It's Latin. This is the important part. Mansip care to transfer ownership of. To transfer ownership of. So what it, the emancipate means is you transfer ownership from one person to another. So what they did, they took the slaves from the slave master and transferred ownership to the U.S. government. Never yep. steal slaves, you know, never was released from slaves. That's they, why you can see we did. They didn't call it the, the liberation of the slaves. They didn't call it the freeing of the slaves. They call it the emancipation. Why use some crazy word nobody even knows what it means? Because it has a, a, spe a specific meaning. Never even cared to look it up, period. That's what people do. People read something and just accept what they read instead of just doing research. It's like you've been reading the, uh, the Black's Law Dictionary. You ever read the Black's? It, there's a, there's a uh, verse in there that says, uh, the meaning of words is the spirit of the law. So, so the court, when you go to court, everything's about words. You have to be very specific in your words. Etymology. Yeah, you have to know your etymology, you have to know your words. I know, see, you know some words. You said a group, obviously. Uh, I try. I try. That's all you do, I mean. Cause, you I'm know, just trying, man. Second Timothy <laughs> says to study to show thyself improved. So you gotta, cause not, this truth is all, you gotta study, man. Like a lot of these people I teach the Bible, these preachers, they don't study. They'll they don't, they don't Bible, know, bitch. they don't know any Hebrew, any Greek. They don't never even look words up in a dictionary. Even. I agree with you. They it's don't like do 100 anything. percent right, they don't. <laughs> they don't. They don't know basic stuff, man. Well, like the, the old joke goes, the King James Bible is good enough for Paul, is good enough for me. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I mean, King James Bible that's is a good old joke. It yeah. is a good Bible, though. Yeah. Well, we, no, I'm not not yeah. the King James. It's just what you said. Yeah. Like that people don't realize that it they actually think Paul had a King James Bible. Yeah. Man, what the hell kind of sense does that make? <laughs> well, it doesn't. But that's the joke, right? <laughs> that is it. Yeah, people don't. I've never heard that's nobody right. say that before. What's that? No, uh, you go to Hall's uh, Black or something else. Yo, you Twitter. Go to, uh, yeah, I mean, you, you got, got a Twitter account? You go to. Oh, yeah. I'm just talking. Check this out. We just teach the Bible. Whenever you get a chance, go and hit up this on the internet. The master plan of the Illuminati. Okay? But let me read something out of there. Man. Sure. The Illuminati. Ha ha. You do, Loki. Or Loki. Yeah, dude, no, I'm saying, because remember, we told Loki about the Illuminati. He ran right, down the street. Yeah, he started going berserk. <laughs> he was like, like, oh, the yeah. Illuminati. Yeah, yeah, he was, yeah. He's like, this is a conversation that two Jews are having with themselves. Okay. Oh, yeah. And it says, uh, oh, that's a good one. let me give you the background information on one level. The Rothschilds secretly call themselves the House of David from the tribe of Judah. Now, Rothschild translated from German to English means red shield. Red. During biblical times, the Edomites' fortress was the red rocks of Petra. Oh, oh, where's my picture? Esau. Oh, yeah, we got a good picture, yeah. You know where Petra Jordan is? Yeah, oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. You see now, this picture. What the hell is that doing in Petra Jordan? <laughs> this is where the Edomites That's are bad. From, That's, bro. That, that, that picture speaks a thousand words. Get that on camera if, it's, if I can pick it up. That's crazy. Uh, archaeologists, they always argue about how old this is. They call it the treasury. They're going to last. Yeah. Yeah. Who's yeah. wearing a skirt? Everybody tries to argue, but they try to say the Nepotines yeah. building. Yeah, but yeah. then they corrected and said, well, now they're trying to switch it up, trying to say, well, maybe they had Roman contractors built. it. So that was the Edomites built that. I'm, I'm pretty sure about that one. Oh, 
it's obvious. <laughs> it's kind of obvious. Right. Esau, the twin brother of Jacob, was described as red and hairy. Yeah. So, yeah, the, Esau. so this information it's fits in perfectly. Yes, yeah, in the cave. With what survivors have been telling me that on a deeper level, the Rothschilds are also claiming to be descendants of Esau. Oh, hold up. So they're not. They know who they are. Like here's a Rothschild seal right here. Sub Zimmerman. Mm -hmm. Double headed mm -hmm. You know that badge that police officers wear? Yeah. Because that's who they actually work for. They don't. Oh, yeah, job is to protect and to serve. You know, they use words that, as a front to food. Yeah. You know, but their job is actually to protect the, uh, the interests of the Rothschild. Well, they don't, don't have a, a, a hundred words for things that mean the same thing. Yes, I mean, that's the Well, English is a bastard language. Yeah. You know, it's a bastard language. It's a Frankenstein language. Mm -hmm, right, right. Yes, exactly. Frankenstein. Because Frank Frank you look at Frankenstein, Frankenstein got a head for thing. somebody else, yeah. an arm from a man, or yeah. another arm from a, a, some nigga in the hood. Yeah. <laughs> you never exactly. studied Frankenstein. <laughs> you know, his ass is. <laughs> that's exactly how it is, yeah. His ass for exactly. my. Exactly. That's, why, 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 that's why people get so <laughs> messed up. Cause they, Frankenstein, well, Frankenstein a mess, man. Because all knowledge is contained within words. That's right. If you don't know the meaning of words, you know we're not going to know any knowledge. Okay, claiming to be descendants of Esau and thus are really from the house of the tribe of Esau. What they are trying to do is to get the birthright back from the house of Jacob. You know Esau sold his birthright. You read the book of Genesis. Right. Oh, exactly. Do you know the story? Where the, it was the bloody it was yeah. 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 Right. Who are the real Jews? The house of the Jacob. Lord, they want Esau to get the yeah, yeah, the Lord didn't want Esau to get it right. Because you got a lot of people that say, oh, Jacob was evil because he tricked his Yeah, brother. yeah, a lot of people will say that. Yeah, a lot of people. But it was but, also the Lord. Yeah, because before Jacob was even born, the Lord said the uh, the older shall serve the younger. Before both were even born. They had said there'll be separate, two separate nations, two separate men of people. So be separated from our bodies. <laughs> Yeah, so where? Yeah, so he said it before they even came to the so he the Lord said that. Day. Check this out. That's how you know if you don't read. However, um, what's that? Obadiah, um, uh, Lord? Where, uh, the house of Esau, so be stubble. Stubble. Yeah, yeah 18. Obadiah. Yeah. Obadiah, okay. 18. However, the book of Obadiah talks about the destruction of the Edomites now in you, the last days. You don't never hear anybody talk about the book of Obadiah. No, you don't. No. Let me show you this too. And when I was a kid, it's it was considered a, quote among the minor prophets. Oh yeah. yeah. When I was a kid, it was one of the first books I read because it was only one page. <laughs> yeah, the kid, short. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, that's one page. Yeah, that read Obadiah 18. That was a spirit though. Yeah. That was a spirit. <laughs> this is Bible dictionary. This is this is that old one I was telling you about. The Bible dictionary. Oh, bro. Which one is that made by? Simon. Oh, bro. I'm just looking up this on ice. It's hard, hard to That last month. Dude, this is actually printed from the 60s. This is printed from the 60s. Yeah, yeah. yeah the new stuff is junk. Yeah, it has a card. I gave him my old one. My new one. I gave him my new one. Yeah. My new one. Yeah. Right yeah. here. He gave yeah. you the junkie. Yeah, I got it right here. <laughs> Well, that's okay. That's okay. It that's still cool. works. It's, it's it still works. Yep, yep. Well, you know, sometimes those hard, those song bags that they go back, and you throw some tape on them. Yeah, 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 they could be good. Yeah, yeah. that's what I did with my pop. I'm just trying to. I don't. You know? I, don't, I, don't, I, don't. <laughs> I don't mean. I don't, I don't want to insult anybody. Oh, you can insult us. Yeah. You can't yeah. Insult us yeah. yeah. We don't. We don't take insults. You, you, know, you, you would think. Yeah. Well, you know. Yeah, I know. I you know. just meet somebody. You don't want to come out of town. People done told him he's wearing a potato sack. <laughs> yeah. We get a lot of, a lot of shit talking. Yeah, people talk shit about it. Well, I mean, just to be honest, I mean, I'm a scholar. That's what I do. That's but, good. Um, I'm interested in it. You know what I Actually, though, what people ain't doing nothing, but history repeats themselves. So they're doing the same thing what they did in the ancient world. Like, they can like the, talk shit all the time. Yeah, the people that live today, you believe in reincarnation? Uh, you know, that's in the Bible. Well, I mean, I don't have a statement. You know oh, okay. what I mean? Like, you're asking me, like, my first question. Well, I mean, question, I don't really know. you can feel in the spirit. That's good. You say pretty much you don't got a statement. Oh, yeah. Most people are trying to... Well, oh, reincarnation not in the Bible? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I don't... 
I don't really care to convince somebody of oh, yeah. whatever yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. stuff might be. Because you could feel, but you never felt in your spirit. Because you was honest about it. Right. Yeah, that's all. I was saying, you never felt in your spirit like you remember, like, so. Well, you know, there's a story. You guys might find this interesting. I was on Buckeye Lake with my uncle Don. You know what I'm talking about. You got the house across the water. And I'm four years, and I've just told this story. I can't confirm it. I was young, maybe four years old. And my mom says I turned my phone on and I said, This looks like Dennis, where I used to be. Freaked wow. him out. Straight up. Freaked him wow. out. That's a story. Wow. Right, right, right. Freaked him out. Because that does, if you think about Dennis, it does resemble Exactly. Yep, it really I mean, does. The kid, you ever been up there? I haven't been there since I was a little kid. It's not as good as it used to be. Yeah. The water is muffy and you don't think you need to. Yeah. What the hell is What kind of growth in it? Yeah, it's, they've not taken care of it. Man, they said how to get her home. You know, this is like, what was that? Yeah, y'all need some help. That was what? recently. That, that, that was like a month ago. Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah that just, they, they, just, they never found that one. No, they did. No, they caught they one. They never found that one. They never did. That's the story that you yeah. hear. Right. Oh, yeah, I heard yeah. about it. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. The one about. in Gehenna, it was more of a mountain lion. Yeah. Oh, I see. The one in... Like um, a cougar. Um, there's, there's really a lion, there. male lion with the mane and all. Back in the day, <laughs> they're out there. Me to those, you know, gun shows and shit. Right. And back then, you could sell and buy exotic Exotic animals. Yep, well, yep, people yep. would buy these damn things. You'd see tigers and lions. At and the gun animals. show? And they buy them like, like oh, the it's flea so market. Cute. Right, right. <laughs> and then it gets yep. fucking well, to the flea market. They have a lion in And it went out the back door. Much anymore. They put new yeah, regulations. Yeah, you got your microchip you up in it. Yep. Microchip. RFID chip. Next, they're going to start chipping. My brother in law used to rescue uh, reptiles. So we'd have pythons and stuff like that in front of them. I used to click on my suit. I used yeah. to. I used to be yeah. I, I, had, used to I had young ones at the time that I had a, a nine foot Burmese albino python. Right. Gorgeous. You would have loved it. Yeah. You would have loved it. Yeah. And latched on to me now. Wow. And I thought, man, Mine, this never was one of my kids. And it attacked me. And I'm thinking, if it's my kid that got a dog, like, what would he do? Hey, like, he'd be trying to be an eater. He's a child eater. So I'm like, I'm like he eat a whole know, dude, he, I got to get the child eater. Yeah. Like, I want to be helpful, but yeah. you know, I can't risk my children. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. I was just so. studying Python. Let me read this here. This sure. is this is um, out of the Bible dictionary. This is my eater. It says, Edom figures prominently in the prophetic scriptures as the scene of great future judgments. Um, she is the only neighbor of the Israelites who was not given any promise of mercy from the most of well, Esau gets no mercy. Oh, read it, bro. I'm showing the no mercy. Obadiah. <laughs> Obadiah. There's no mercy for you. Like, you know, I hear people try to say, oh, yeah. Jesus is going to save everybody. That's not true. Obadiah. Yeah. Obadiah 18. Okay. Obadiah 1 and 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. That means all 12 tribes are going to get back together. It's talking about uh, in the kingdom. That's what it's talking about. Keep going. And the house of Esau for stubble. Yep. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. So when the Bible says, the Bible dictionary says great future judgment. So that means that's that this future. was written in what? 19... Great future. <laughs> this was written in 19... Obadiah was written 2,700 years ago or something like that. Yeah, Long time ago. Way before, yeah, way before the Maccabees. Yeah, way before the Maccabees. Yeah, this is printed in 67, so that means it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it hasn't future. happened yet. And it, said, is, and it said Israel was going to be the one. This is year I was going. So, so when the Lord, but when the Lord comes back and gives us our power, we're grinding devils up in chains, and the Lord's going to give us that power. And there's going to be peace on earth. Just like uh, we go back to Constantine's time. Like, you know, when, uh, during when uh, Constantine set up, well, not just Constantine, yeah, everybody asked me to. But you know, there was laws in the Byzantine Empire that said, like, a Jew, a so-called Jew, an Edomite, well, they knew they were Edomite. They weren't even allowed to uh, uh, go to school. 
They weren't allowed to go to the school. They, they weren't allowed right. to... Uh, no, they, they were absolutely excluded. They were excluded from banking. They weren't allowed right. to... Well, I mean, that was one of the reasons that uh, the, the Jewish people uh, got involved in, in uh, banking and international trade because yeah. they were, one, exempt from the Christian laws that governed the interchange between Christians and Muslims that were heathens and not believers. I'll show you why they're not allowed to... Uh, but also because they were excluded from every other kind of profession. I got a scripture for you, though. I'll go uh, dealing with these dirty bankers with the Rothschilds. The Rothschilds own the biggest bank in the world. But they own all the banks, they actually. The banks. They, they, are, they print the money. So they, they own the federal reserve. They're the reason there is a bank. <laughs> they are the owners. Yeah, because I thought all this time that uh, money was government. But that's his own private thing. Right. So one, what's funny is you look at these nations that have debt. Like, for example, like the United States of America, their debt. And they charge so-called seventeen. Trillion, they charge them really, interest too. Right. Like, oh God. How imagine much do they interest, interest they charge? Like per dollar, that's printed. Whoa. They probably cost like two dollars to print one dollar. You know, it's, so, it's actually something ridiculous. Yeah, like, yeah it's exactly. But I'm gonna show you something. That's total paper. In a time of crisis, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. This whole <laughs> this whole money system that we got going on here. Is this whole act, the whole society is totally against the Bible and the, the, going against the laws of the movie. Uh, Nothing show, about my Mennonite ancestors would disagree with you there. Uh, <laughs> That's why they opted out. <laughs> yeah, they opted out too. <laughs> they opted out and created their own little society because they absolutely agree with that statement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, That's why they when America is a land of the free. Well, we do know, yeah. We talking about we just ain't we ain't trying to break away from society, but we got we, we got to come out here and teach this food. You know, that's our job. So, so the Great Commission and so forth. Uh, yeah. Is what you guys more or less operate by? We are just waking up Israel. Yeah. That's all we're doing, waking up Israel. Let me read the scripture for you. Sure. Uh, the Lord is using us to wake up Israel. We really ain't doing nothing but making fools of ourselves. We're just doing the work of the Lord. Yeah, because this is, according to the scriptures, this is the Yeah. What does it say about the The is of most high is rising in the wisdom of so yeah, we just really got here to please the most high. So, let me read this. Uh, do exactly what he tell you. Yeah, be like Jonah. Right, he'll be like Jonah. Jonah, Jonah, Jonah tried. <laughs> Jonah tried. Please. He tried to go to Spain. The most high like no. No, you going? Who who was supposed to go to? Then Nineveh. 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 So Nineveh. you're it's you're a scholar Nineveh. here at this university. I'm sorry. You're a scholar here at this university. You never semester. seen us here before. No, but I spend most of my time in the library or whatever. What I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> yeah, I'm so afraid. Because we've been out here about five, six years now. Six, is that right? Six years. Well, I feel ashamed of myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I didn't mean that as an insult or nothing. No, no, no. no. I just you know I tried. We, we never came across a scholar ever to meet us out here. Well, you know, it's it's hard. They put us through the ringer. You know. And uh, it's hard to get out and actually see people. We was waiting for a scholar to come out here and talk to us. Let me read the scripture for you. Sure, yes. I've Deuteronomy 23 and 15. Uh, actually, no, that's wrong. Deuteronomy, uh, I was on the wrong scripture. Deuteronomy, I was about to read the horror scripture. But Deuteronomy 23 and 19. Thou shalt not lend upon usury to thy brother. Mm. Usury of money, usury of uh, victuals, Usury of anything that is lent upon usury. Right. Unto a stranger thou might lend upon usury, but not unto thy brothers thou shalt not lend upon usury. So, so everybody tries to say we're all brothers in America, right? We're all one American family, right? Hands <laughs> well, across America. You know what I mean? So why they charge the usury if we're all brothers? So what do you think we're gonna be a hypocrite? I guess we're not all brothers. Like them so-called Jews, they kind of follow the Bible. They call us Goyim. They call right. they call us Goy. Okay, uh, and, they, and their excuse is like we're heathens, we're Goy, and they can, they can charge as much interest as they want. That's one of the main reasons they got kicked out of every country there. They take over country. You know, you read history. They try to take over governments through subversion, through usury. Uh, you know, get the king in their pocket. That's how they do it. Yes, yeah, no, that's why it's compared to a snake. 
Yeah, he's a certain Esau and Jacob. Yeah, they are brothers. Yeah. Yeah. But that's why they're inseparable. You always see them together. Even Not though they hate each other. Yep. They hate each other, but they're always together. Just like even back in the ancient Greek world, you know Alexander the Macedonian was actually an Edomite? Is that right? Yeah. I didn't know that. We can prove it. Uh, I'll give it to you in the You know the Apocrypha? You ever read Apocrypha? That's been a while. Give I'm me more a, familiar uh, with the canonical scriptures than I am. The other side. Well, this was in the original King James Bible. When I was in Alexander 1 7. Oh, I got my pockets in That's it. That's it. Actually, first Maccabees. Actually, start at first Maccabees 101. That, that it tells you a lot. You got to extrapolate a little bit, but it's going to tell you a lot. Because uh, the Maccabees, have you read Maccabees before? Like I said, it's been a long time. I, I, I had to say, I, I might as well not have read it. The Maccabees <laughs> is key to understanding the, the you know, Alexander's empire, the Mac. Uh, oh, sure, absolutely. You no, know, the Ptolemies. And Oh yes, Absolutely. this is key because it gives you key information. Yeah. Like we're talking about Greek occupation, right? Mm -hmm. This is yeah. Uh, First Maccabees one and one. Now check this out. And it happened after that Alexander, son of Philip, the son of Philip, the Macedonian, the Macedonian didn't say they were Greeks, right? Macedonians who came out of the land of Chittim. Out of the land of Chittim. So he's not even from originally from there. Where's Chittim? You don't know where Chittim is. Well, well, it depends where you're reading a Bible. Right. Like sometimes it, it can be different places. The, the word chitin just means like somebody. I gotta look that word chitin up. I gotta look that up. But uh, chitin right here is probably talking about it. Ah. So you had a lot, you like, uh, yeah. a, lot, uh, a lot of the Romans, the Latins were even like, uh, like you, you know about the different Latin tribes in ancient Rome. You had the Latins. You had the. the uh, Right, right. They say the, uh, the Sabians, they descend from the Spartans. You know the Spartans are. Oh, yes. And this, yes. The, the Apocrypha also tells you the Spartans are Israelites. It tells you they're the Abraham seed. Movie 300? Yeah, yes. Israelites. Go ahead and read that. Okay. Has smitten Darius, king of the Persians, and Medes, that he reigned in his steed, the first of the Greeks. Oh, that's the point. So that just tells you right there. The, you know, they came out at Chittim. Uh, go to the next part. Uh, talk about Alexander. Okay. Seven. One and seven. My first Maccabees. I'm going to get another scripture, too. So okay. Alexander reigned 12 years and then died. And his servants bear rule everyone in his place. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. So did their sons after them many years. And evils were multiplied in the earth. Yep. So uh, it tells you evil. It didn't say Alexander's kingdom was this great, beautiful, Hellenistic kingdom where they spread wisdom and knowledge. Yeah, well, it said great <laughs> evils were multiplied <laughs> up on the earth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 